Hey what's up guys, Harris here, and Apple will release a lot of new products today, some really nice, and others not so much. Today I'm going over 5 reasons why you shouldn't buy the new iPad Mini 3. Coming in at number 5 is that it looks just like this. It's the same design as all of the other iPad Minis. In fact, this is the first gen, and you'd still be kind of hard to tell them apart. That's because it's not any thinner, it's not any lighter, it's the same design. Coming in at number four is that it's got the same cameras. The cameras haven't been improved. The camera on the back and the front are still the same as pretty much the first two generations. Uh, so there's not been an increase in the camera. Whereas the iPad Air, the iPad Air 2 uh, did get a camera boost, but the iPad Mini 3 did not get that camera boost. Coming in at number three would be the processor. It's got the same A7 64-bit processor with the M7 coprocessor. Now this isn't a bad thing. It's still a very fast processor but it didn't get an upgrade in the processor. It's got the same processor as the iPad Mini 2, and the iPad Air 2 got a big increase, whereas the iPad Mini 3 did not get a increase at all in the speed. It's the same as the iPad Mini 2. Coming in at number two would be the screen. It's got the same screen as the iPad Mini 2. It's still an excellent screen, but it hasn't been improved. It hasn't been uh, relaminated or kind of what the iPad Air 2 got to reduce the glare. It's the same screen, the same display, as the iPad Air 2. So if you're looking for that kind of anti-glare that you get on the iPad Air 2, you're not gonna get it. And coming in at number one for the reason why you should not buy the iPad Air 3 is all these reasons wrapped up plus a hundred dollar price tag. So you get almost the identical tablet, but you're paying a hundred dollars more. Now what are three advantages of this hundred dollars more? Well you can get a hundred twenty eight gigabyte model, which actually is like three hundred dollars more than that. You can get a gold model and it has Touch ID. So more or less, you're paying $100 for Touch ID so you can unlock your iPad with your fingerprint instead of typing in four digits. Now, I'm not really sure if that is something that compels you or if you're a diehard gold fan that you just have to have that gold iPad mini. Uh, but really, the iPad mini 3, not looking very good, Apple, I'm sorry to say. Uh, but it's just not a good tablet and I would not recommend it. I would 100% recommend the iPad mini 2 or the iPad Air or the iPad Air 2. So thank you guys for watching. This is Harris. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you stay subscribed for possibly iPad Air 2 coverage, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.